today we are going to uh, discuss about the structural model transmission line tower structural model uh, design and model in uh, start to software uh, this is our transmission line tower this is our transmission line tower uh, this tower is uh, 20 uh, nearly 28 meter uh, the height of this transmitter line tower is uh, 28 meters if we convert this unit uh, similarly this one is uh, nearly 11 meters uh, if we convert the unit okay and talking about the loads we have different load case loads assigned in this transmission line tower uh, for example we can see this load cable one load that is given in all the fx fy and fz on all the four types of cable for example this one is our uh, cable one type load case one that is cable load and this one is fx uh, we can see the fx value and this is given by uh, this this is noted by this color blue color showing our fx value minus 4.698 kilonewton meter that we need to calculate in our calculation for example in excel or somewhere else that value we give in this uh, that value we put in this load case for different cases for different cables and so on after that uh, we also give different sizes to these members and we have the different groups also for example we have different groups attributes okay we have this attributes we have this group okay the our first group is uh, crown members for the main post and that is represented by this red color that is represented by this red color crown main post similarly we have this crown bracing that is this inclined member at the crown similarly we have this level one main post that is the main leg from the very bottom of this steel structure uh, to this level this is our level one main post we have the different kind of bracing uh, upper bracing lower bracing we have the box box shape also um, we have this box shape also similarly we have this cross arm similarly we have the bottom member of this cross arm uh, similarly top member of this cross arm uh, similarly the bracing top bracing bottom bracing in this way we have the 44 different types of groups and we assign different steel section sizes to these groups uh, for example, if we see the 3D render view of this structure, uh, we can get the overall picture that we have assigned the Indian standard equal angle sections to the members like these legs, uh, cross arms, bracings, box or this crown main post or any other different members. After that, we go to run analysis. Uh, we do the run analysis. Uh, it will take a few minutes or just, um, it depends upon the type of the model, uh, the different uh, mesh size or the, let's say, the different parameters we have assigned. It depends our analysis time depends on the parameters we are given and the value we have provided finally we get this window we have zero errors we have uh, 1070 warnings and zero nodes and we have this three option that is view output file go to post processing or stay in modeling mode uh, for the time being we go to the post processing mode and in the post processing mode we select all the load cases uh, and uh, we want to see the 
deflection. For example, this is the deflection for this case one uh, by using the by by holding the key control and rolling the roller of the mouse. We can increase or decrease the scale of this displacement um, represented by this. And green lines in the figure okay similarly we can go to the uh, displacement for uh, second case case 2 okay in this case uh, we can see the deflection shape uh, towards the opposite direction than the deflection shown for the load case 1 why it is so because in the load case 1 we have the we have the cable load in fx fy uh, fz on inch 1 2 3 4 that means we have all the four cables but in case 2 we have fx fy fz on inch of 1 2 3 so in this case there is no cable 4 or this is a short short circuit case where we don't have this cable number 4 uh, so in this way we can see the uh, different deflection diagram and we can um, just by looking the diagram also we can verify the load cases with this corresponding displacement uh, and if you go further uh, we have this utilization ratio in this utilization ratio we can see the value the utilization ratio value for different members for example uh, in this member for this member we have this value 0 0.246 and if you just right click this by selecting this member and if you just go to the right click we can select this properties and in the properties we can see the different geometry properties um, properties um, properties like the sections uh, like for example this is uh, Indian standard angle 80, 80, 80 by 80 uh, by 10 size similarly we can see the different loadings uh, shear force bend wind deflection design property and finally we can see the steel design in the steel design we can see different design stresses and the corresponding critical load that is the load critical for that member is this load 21 load case 21 and the location and also the force in this case for this particular member the critical uh, load is fx that is the axial force is critical that is 129.25 kilonewton tension t stand, stands for tension c for compression in this case tension uh, similarly we have this code the result is pass that is this member is passing and the ratio is 0 0.25 under the critical condition tension and the slenderness value is 131 in this way uh, we can see the results for individual members but uh, similarly we have this uh, utilization menu and on the inside the utilization menu we can go to this analysis outputs where we can see the output results of all the steel members okay this is the output file and we can we have this results and under the results we have this steel design and in steel design Uh, we have this member number one that is some steel member having the section IS 758 and we can see the different parameters assigned uh, we can see the results uh, forces movements and also the utilization ratio and in this case the utilization ratio we can see uh, the ratio this ratio utilization ratio is 0 0.004 which is very very small the, than one so it is a pass member uh, and the axial force uh, in this member is 1.38 kilonewton compression similarly we can see the result for individual different members okay in this way we can do the optimization if we want to um, do the optimization we can just change the size for example this members uh, the utilization ratio is 0 0.0095 in this case uh, we can reduce the size of this member because the utilization ratio is very 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 small than one in this way we can change the sizes and can do optimization uh, thank you for watching this video